Hello, it's Aloha Laura. I just thought I would make a quick video being real with why I haven't posted a lot of videos lately. Uh, one, uh, I have had people ask me about what happened on Halloween and did I vlog it. I did get a little bit of footage, but Halloween was not what we had planned it to be because it was so windy when we were trying to put up the tents, like half of our haunt was going to be in tents. And it, when the tents were up, even with the weights on them and us holding on to the bottom of the tents, it was moving us across the driveway. So we decided that that was not safe for children. So we took the tents down and nixed that whole part so it was just a walk through on the front porch and then down the ramp and that was it. But people still had a good time, but I just didn't vlog it really. I just, I mean, I got a little walk through video of me, but I didn't get any like scare footage or anything. So <coughs> that aside, the day after Halloween, I was like, tear it down. I was done. I was over it because yes, I love Halloween. Uh, Halloween is a part of our lives, but when you work on something for that long, it, sometimes you're, you're just done for a while and for me November 1st starts Christmas at my house we love Christmas so I was ready to tear down Halloween and start putting Christmas up and then like it is December 4th and we don't even have our tree decorated yet we've got it up we've got the outside decorated but we don't have our tree decorated and that's just not like us but no monkey it was just the neighbor but things happen you know and I just wanted to address why I wasn't I haven't really been posting a lot or when I've posted I haven't shown my face or anything like that it's two things one it's because of the whole I got a little bit depressed because when I I changed my name because I was thinking about changing my name from Bama Quest and then I really liked Aloha Laura and I love, I love the name and I think it fits me and I think it fits my love for Harry Potter and unlocking adventure and just unlocking the good things in life, you know, but right when I changed my name, what it was like, what, not even a month after I changed my name and I had all these plans of doing this, all this Harry Potter stuff, the COPA thing came up or COPA or whatever it is, the COPPA thing and they're like are your videos made for children no I don't ever make videos for children but I have cleaned up my channel if you have been watching me for a long time you know that when I used to do gothic witch's kitchen I cussed all the time and so I've really worked hard at cleaning up my language on my channel anyway not in, <laughs> not in my daily life but in on my channel I've worked hard to make it a family friendly channel but that doesn't mean that it's for kids I don't ever make anything for kids I'm an adult I don't have small kids I don't do anything that appeals to small kids but then they're like I tried to video the um the Lucius Malfoy cane and then it was like oh is this for kids and they tried to like not monetize it and I was like no this is not for children this is a collector's item like and even the Harry Potter toys and stuff, I don't, I collect, I'm a collector. I collect these things for me. These are not for children. And even if it's a, what is considered a toy that is ideal for this age and up, if I'm collecting it, I'm not showing this for kids. I'm showing this because this is me and this is what's in my collection. So that whole thing, I was like, right when I freaking change my name and I do want to put a little more Harry Potter and stuff in this, this whole thing shows up and becomes a hot freaking mess. And so I was just like, I felt like, you know, as people that are trying hard to do family friendly content are getting slapped in the face with this stuff because family friendly does not mean made for kids. And I know that there's most if not all YouTubers out there agree with me on this. So they need to straighten that stuff out. Um, the second thing is my weight. I have been struggling with my weight. This is the heaviest I've been since when I first stopped smoking and I gained all the weight. This is the heaviest I've been. I lost, it. I lost some of it 
and then I put some back on. And so this is the heaviest I've been in a while. I mean, I can't even get my gothic witch dress, if that tells you anything. I mean, and it's not, for me, it's not a vanity thing. For me, it is a, I feel horrible thing. Like, my headaches, and I'm tired all the time, and I am miserable. And... You know, I'm not one of these YouTubers that's going to act like my life is all hunky-dory. And you know what? I watch these pe some of these people, and it is easy to watch YouTubers and get depressed because you think their life is so great. But you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. And yes, I do try to keep negative stuff off my channel. I don't want negative stuff on my channel. But I am always going to be real with you guys. You know, I have depression. I have mentioned that before in a uh, Mohawks Up, hair, Mohawks Up for, for depression um, awareness. And I do have depression. And so my weight and what it's causing me, the physical issues that I'm having from it is getting worse. So I decided that I am going to put a Wabash on this. I'm tired of it. Now I did, I did try to do a weight loss journey, what, two years ago? And I went keto for a few months and was feeling fantastic but keto was causing one issue that i just couldn't deal with and then it was getting it was getting harder and harder to like go into the grocery store and know you know what to buy and i was getting depressed because i was getting frustrated so anyway i have just started paleo now i will say a disclaimer I will be cheating for my uh, Christmas party with my cosplay family because it was already planned out. I've already bought ingredients. Everything's already been done. So, I mean, not made, but I will be cheating on that day. But right now, I'm not cheating. I have been doing paleo for a few days now, and I'm already starting to feel less bloated, not having grains. Um, so, and then... The reason why I'm not doing I'm going to do Whole30 starting January 1st, and I will be documenting the 30 days. I don't know if I'm going to do a daily vlog, or if I'll do like once a week, like this is what I've eaten and this is how I feel, blah, blah, blah. Um, the only reason why I'm not doing Whole30 right now is because of the Christmas party. So Matt and I are doing paleo up until the Christmas party, and we'll cheat, and then we're going to go, you know, stay paleo except for that day and then January 1st we're going to be starting Whole30 and what Whole30 is is an elimination diet because I have been having such um, uh, physical issues that I don't really want to get into but I think the best way Whole30 is not a diet like I will not be on that the rest of my life it is for 30 days and it's to figure out it's an elimination diet and it's to figure out what um, what foods you might have reactions to. So you cut out all these foods that aren't a lot, not allowed on Whole30 and you cannot cheat. If you cheat, you have to start the 30 days all over again, which I think will be good to help keep me like focused because I wouldn't want to start it all over again. And then after the, whole, the 30 days is over, you start introducing things slowly back in and then watch how your body reacts to those things. And that's how you learn what you might have intolerances to. Now, I'm not talking about like straight food allergies. I'm not talking about like peanuts will make you like have to go to the hospital or need an EpiPen or something like that. But there's a lot of misconception that a slight intolerance is, oh my God, I'm totally allergic to that. I cannot have it. And, and that's not it. But it's about finding what doesn't make me feel good so that I can feel good. If I lose weight in the process, that will be beneficial. But right now, I'm just trying to make myself feel better. And I just wanted to be upfront and honest with you guys about what was going on and why I haven't felt like being in front of the camera very much. Because when I see myself on the camera, it really makes me sad because I don't I don't like the way I look and at my age it's my metabolism is very slow and it's getting harder to get stuff off so and I haven't been walking and that's my fault too I need new shoes really bad my shoes are worn out and when I try to walk they end up hurting my lower back and my hips so bad I just end up 
crying and coming back home and then I give up on walking and so hopefully around Christmas time I'll get some new shoes and um, I can start walking again because I want to start walking when I'm doing the whole 30 as well so I just wanted to let you know because like I said you know I do try to keep this channel positive I always want to keep it going in a positive direction but I will always be real with you guys I'm never gonna be one of those fake people that pretend like my life is like these gorgeous Instagram posts no -uh. no <laughs> I didn't even brush my hair <laughs> I didn't even brush my hair <laughs> I'm horrible I know but it's just like I mean I just don't I'm getting really tired of the fakeness that I'm seeing and I think it's important for people to know that not all YouTubers are putting up some kind of front like my life is so this. You know what? My life I have been doing nothing but sitting on the couch playing Fallout 4. That's what I've been doing. I have been lazy. Up until I started paleo, I have been eating horrible and absolutely doing nothing. And I keep wrenching my back, which doesn't help because I can't um, exercise, like do any other exercise when my back is wrenched. And this is the second week in a row I have pulled my back. And I think a lot of, well, part of it's my mattress. My mattress really stinks. I need a new one. And... Uh, it's my weight. I can't get comfortable at nighttime anymore. And I, I don't like it when people look at me and say, you're so tiny, you don't need to lose weight. I'm not tiny. I am 35 pounds overweight. My BMI is right below obese level. I am unhealthy and unhappy and I'm the only person that can change that about myself. So, you know, I'm sorry that I haven't had many adventures lately. I promise you we're going to be getting out and doing some things. I really do. I know I said, I said that I was promising like a lot of Halloween stuff, but Halloween, guys, I was so depressed. I really was, you know, and I hate to admit it, but I, I just was. And by the time it came and gone, I was just done and I wanted to start focusing on Christmas and focusing on becoming better for myself. Because like when I was doing keto and my health was getting better, like my depression was getting better because it was helping my head. Getting out and exercising and doing these things was actually helping my mental health tremendously. Like when I was doing that, I know I'm rambling, I'm sorry, but when I was doing that, I was just like, I looked back and I was like, geez, I haven't really been depressed this month at all. Like, I had a couple days where I was sad, but not depressed. And there's a big difference between depression and sadness. And I was just like, wow. So the diet was actually really helping me mentally. And then I started introducing all of the sugars and, and wheat and all this stuff back into my body and just started getting worse and worse and worse. And I just, I can't do it anymore, you know? I know, uh, I, I know some people that are like, you don't really wear your worn doll shirts much anymore. And I mean, I still wear a medium because this Slytherin shirt is a medium, but my worn doll shirts, are fitting me a little bit tighter than I'm comfortable with and that bothers me because you know me that I love worn doll but I refuse to go up to a size large because I need to get to where I'm comfortable in medium again I'll never be a small because of the size of my top but um, I'm, I miss wearing my motionless of white and wearing my uh, worn doll shirts but they're just tight on me so I have two pair of pants that I wear and only one of them is comfortable one of them cuts me in half and I refuse to go out and buy new pants until I get healthier so I've been wearing the same freaking pants guys but this is what depression does you know, when you have depression, it's like you think in your head, 
I, I don't like the way I look and I'm so unhappy that I'm so unmotivated and I'm so unhappy that I'm overweight but yet you can't get off the couch to do anything about it because your mind just locks you there and if you have depression you understand what I'm talking about but I'm finally in a in a mindset right now I'm feeling good I'm sticking with the paleo um, last night Matt cheated and had a cup of cocoa and he asked me if I wanted one and I had a cup of plain Earl Grey instead so I have been really doing good my snacks are figgy pops and um, these are amazing and it doesn't say paleo on here but all the ingredients are paleo for these and um, the super seeds these are spicy pumpkin seeds and they are fantastic and they're non-gmo and everything so they are uh, so good and so I have looked the serving size for figgy pops is two. I have been having one as my sweet treat for the night. So I'm only getting half of the sugar and carbs that are even in that. And that's low and it's natural sugars. It's not added. And I have been doing literally a small palm full, just a little bit in my palm and just eating one at a time. And that satisfies that I need to snack thing. So I know I'm rambling. If you have stayed with me this entire time, comment hole 30 in the bottom but anyway if you have stayed with me I really appreciate it I just I, I'm sorry that this was a very long and rambly um, but I just wanted to, to connect with you guys and tell you what was going on because I've been on the struggle bus lately and I know that we all get on the struggle bus sometimes whether it be uh, with our weight or um, how we feel physically at all or how we feel mentally and I just wanted to keep in touch with you guys and let you know this is what was going on but things are changing I'm feeling much I'm starting to feel much better even though I've been doing paleo for a few days I'm literally starting to already feel positive changes in myself and um, I'm happy about that so that being said, let me know if you're interested in knowing what I'm eating on paleo except for the Christmas party because I'm making Bailey's truffles, okay? I'm just going to be honest. I'm making Bailey's Irish cream chocolate truffles and I'm going to have one. <laughs> so, uh, but if you're interested in knowing what I'm eating on paleo, let me know down below and I will definitely be vlogging my whole 30 journey starting December 1st. I mean, <laughs> January 1st. <laughs> So, thank you for, guys, thank you for sticking with me. You know, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you thumbs upping my, my videos and commenting on my videos because I want us to be able to talk. Let me know what you like seeing. Let me know, um, you know, if you have things that you would like me to do within reason. I mean, I, I don't have any real money, <laughs> so... But let me know what you enjoy seeing. Do you like the unboxings? I do have a couple of unboxings coming up. But let me know if you like the unboxings or uh, that kind of stuff. Let me know if you enjoy Harry Potter and uh, getting outdoors and hiking. And do you mind that I'm kind of a mishmash of everything? Does that bother you? Or, I mean, do I feel unfocused? Because my brain, like, I'm interested in so many different things. And I feel like... When people say, what is your YouTube channel about? I'm like, <laughs> because I'm literally like a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know, because I YouTube to have a creativity outlet because it makes me happy. So that's it. And you guys make me happy. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you for sticking with me so much. I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving. I hope you have good holidays coming up. And you know what? Be nice to all the people working in the retail because it is a tough job. And this time of year is a nightmare for retailers. So be nice to everybody. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Go out there and unlock some magic. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.